Look who it is. It's the QB. Davis Mills in for Drew's Dozen. Davis, what's the best Halloween costume you ever wore? Ooh, that's a good one. Um, I think either a cowboy when I was really younger, really young, or I wore a Batman costume um, probably my ninth grade freshman year of high school that was fit for a fifth grader. <laughs> I just tried to pull it off. <laughs> so, so were you just rippling in this thing? I think there was like a chess piece that came down and it was like a crop top. And uh-huh. I thought it was the coolest thing at the time. <laughs> That's great. Do you still do Halloween these days? Um, we had some stuff at Stanford that we do, but most of the time you're playing yeah. or preparing the night before, so you couldn't do much until after. Yeah, big bummer. You miss out on those things as an athlete, but there's other there's other uh, advantages to that life, right? Definitely. All right, what's your favorite holiday? Probably, I'd say Christmas or Fourth of July. Okay. All right. Is it a toss-up? I mean, I think there are pros to both. Yeah. But I think Christmas was always really good family time. Mm-hmm. And then 4th of July, I can always think of just spending it at the lake. Yeah. Um, back home, just out on the water, mm-hmm. hanging out with a bunch of friends and enjoying the holiday. You uh, you like a jet skier? You a wakeboarder? How do you do? Th- what do you? Um, I mean, nothing since being drafted. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. was got into wake surfing uh-huh. pretty recently, and I like to say I'm decent at it. But that's really fun. You're pretty modest, so you're probably awesome at it. Because you, if, if you can get up and do it, like that's that's not easy, I can is it? Get up and ride without the rope, but I'm not doing any of the tricks that a lot of the good good riders are doing. Yeah, uh, Pharaoh Brown, your, one of your tight ends, he's pretty good at wake surfing as well. He was doing it this summer, and we see this on his Instagram. Got tackled by one of his friends. One of his friends jumped off the boat, tackled him. I thought that was. Uh, I almost held my breath because I was worried <laughs> something bad was going to happen there. Thought he's okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm too. Uh, if you were not a football player, what would you be doing? What'd your career be? Um, playing basketball or baseball? Yeah. Uh, yeah, those were my three big sports growing up, and I chose football, and it worked out for me. But I'd say that, or if it wasn't in the sport realm entirely, I had an internship in commercial real estate at Stanford that I really enjoyed. Okay. Thought it was cool. Yeah, I mean it's a phenomenal school, phenomenal business program. But let's talk with let's stick with the baseball and the basketball. Who's your favorite all-time basketball player? Hmm. I would say Magic Johnson because oh. I grew up a Michigan State fan because that's where my dad went to undergrad. So I always grew up a Magic fan. So you're a young guy, and most most guys your age are you know they're going LeBron or so. You're going way back. I yeah. like that Magic Johnson. He um he was something special. People forget about no, I don't forget about him, but I think they kind of underrate him these days because of all the time that's passed. How about baseball? You got a favorite baseball player? Were you a Braves Maybe fan growing Braves up? Braves fan growing yeah. up, probably. Chipper, Andrew Jones. Those are good ones. Yeah, I like those. Andrew Jones. Uh, that's Jordan Akins, another one of your tight ends. That's his favorite player growing up. And Is he, it? Yeah, he played professionally. Jordan did, yeah. obviously, for four years in the Rangers organization. But, uh, yeah, we've talked about that a lot with him. The most overrated food in the world is? Ooh, that's a good question. I don't know. Don't know? Oh, I don't know. Overrated. I'm... A good fan of a lot of different foods. So. <laughs> Anything you don't like? I've never been a fan of mushrooms, although they've come on to me a little mo- okay. more recently. Yeah. Because um, the food in the calf's really good here. Yeah, it so is. I've been trying those, but I've always despised uh, green like peas. Green peas. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Bad uh, experience when I was younger. So. What was about it? What happened, dude? Just my mom made them one time for dinner, and I was refusing to eat them, and then I. Finally ate them and didn't go well. Didn't go well. Okay, you can. Yeah, we'll <laughs> leave it at that. It's a family show. Um, what's your favorite exercise in the weight room, and what's your least favorite exercise in the weight room? I think favorite would be some sort of squats. Yeah, I like working out the legs. Um, and had some injury stuff in the past that I like to work through and always try to stay up to date with being as strong as possible as I can on the lower body. Um, I don't know, least favorite. No. Maybe some sort of cardio. Yeah. It's interesting. I've asked this of, I think, three of your teammates now. You've all said squats. Every single one of you, Danny Amendola, Tyrod Taylor, you've all said squats. So that's uh, it's fascinating that you all go there. Okay. I did not come up with this question. It came to me from our social media team. And uh, shout out Amanda Caffey. She wants to know on Instagram, how come all your posts are in black and white? I don't know. I I think I chose to do it starting probably 
freshman or sophomore year of high school uh-huh. and just stuck with it. I thought it was pretty cool at the time, and now yeah. I'm kind of in too deep, and <laughs> I just got to keep rolling with That's it. That's kind of your brand, huh? Yep. I like it. It's cool. I, you know, I'm kind of a live and let live. I didn't know one way or the other. So they asked that, and I was like, I don't know. I'll ask him. So you just kind of, that's what you did, and you're just sticking to it? I am. Fair enough, Davis Mills. Uh, what's the last meal that you cooked? Um, it was a filet with sweet potatoes and asparagus. Nice. How'd you cook it? I actually sous vide the steak and then uh, took it out and seared both sides and then... The sweet potatoes chopped up pretty thin. Uh, my girlfriend actually helped with okay. the sides, but I mean it was a it was a dual effort. That's fancy, dude. I was just wondering, like, but is this medium? Is it medium rare? And you're going I'm into all this stuff. I mean, you're rare, souvé. I, I don't even know what souvé means. Like, <laughs> so you, it's like water cooking, or yeah, I think water cooking. You put the steak in a airtight, air sealed bag, and uh-huh. then set it in water, and the sous vide will actually heat up the water to a specific temperature. And I set it to, I think, 131, which is right medium rare, in uh-huh. between medium rare and medium. And you let it cook in there for like an hour and a half, let it sit. It'll cook completely through. And then you take it out and sear sides for the crust, and it's good. I learned stuff. Maybe I, you maybe you guys watching and listening, maybe you already knew that. I didn't know that. I'm, I'm learning stuff all the time. All right, what's the greatest invention ever? Sliced bread? Is that Sliced the, bread. That's sure. We'll go with that. Saying. Yeah, we'll go with that. That'll work. Okay. Uh, the last thing, what celebrity do you think you resemble most? Ooh. I don't know. I got a lot of comparisons growing up to Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> so John Hedder, I think. Is his nice. Name? That's great. Did you ever dress up like him for Halloween or anything? Or? No. No. I don't think so. Did you, ever do, did you ever do any impersonations of him or anything or use any of his I lines? mean, it was one of my favorite movies growing up. It's a up, great movie. And yeah. I might have impersonated him a couple of times, but nice. nothing I can think of right now. This guy can throw a football over the mountains, and he's uh, <laughs> going to throw a football against the Buffalo Bills on Sunday. Hey, Davis, really appreciate the time. Yep. Thanks so much, man. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to know when we post new content.